before there was Psylocke, there was Megumi X. And she is our current running... There. She is our current running Kunoichi, a.k.a. Ninja, female ninja. And she has a mission since she's been working with the railroad. And that mission is this one right here. No, no, no. I'm sorry. She's not working for the railroad right Oh, she is working with the railroad. Oh, man. I'm doing it again. I'm getting ahead of myself. She is working with the railroad, but she's also taking jobs to assassinate because that's what she is. She's an assassin. Kill people for money, you know, that kind of thing. And so she does have a quest from the bounty box, which we love the bounty box. It's to find and kill the target, a legendary Meyer Alert Razor Claw in Lake Quinacopino. So that is where we're headed. Because right now she is here. And she's got to go all the way up here. Now, as you see, we could easily take the simple route of fast travel. But where's the fun in that? I love a long road trip in this game across a fantasy landscape because this game does lend itself to a lot of random encounters that can happen. It doesn't happen often, but whenever several random encounters happen and you get a huge massive fight going, it is something spectacular. It is truly something to behold. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen here. But let me go ahead and set my timer. Ugh. So every time I start one of these games, I always have a, uh, it's my timer right there. I set the timer. I try to go for about roughly about a half hour or so. So, of course, that just tells me whenever, whenever we hit that about time, or sometimes go longer. You know, just depends on the mood. Moods, yes, yeah, very persuasive things. Moods. So let me stop jabber jabbering, jibber jabber, and get to it. It's been a while since we had her in this outfit. Oh yes, you're curious of what this outfit is, of course. So let's go ahead and disclose that. From the bottom, Dickies Combat Gloves. Dickies is a great set. And, of course, we're going into VTOL territory. Wardrobe number eight. That's the top. The mask. The hat. The boots. And we have the long coat. I love that, too. I'm planning on utilizing that for another character here shortly. Shh, don't tell anybody. And also Vital wardrobe number eight, the underwear that she is wearing, and that's basically it. And I still need to give her some more bits and pieces, but that's all right. Yes, yeah, speaking of upcoming characters, yeah, like I've always said, I have, oh my goodness, I've got myself. All right. I got several, well, I have a long laundry list of characters that I'm potentially wanting to do. I just have to find the right inspiration to bring them to life. And then, of course, I need the proper outfits to do so. And once those two ingredients hit, and when they do, they hit hard. And that's whenever we get ourselves a new character. But I certainly like the characters we got going on right now. It's just that I need to have them to always have something to do. I mean, obviously, you're here to watch. You're here to watch a show, so we got to put on a show. But Megumi here, she's been around for quite a while. And of course, like I have said several times in these videos, is that I play these characters about once a month several weeks before i ever post them so that's why i'm always wondering okay what weapon do they have what are they wearing what were they doing i have a perk sheet but i really write down exactly where they were and where i left off with them i know that's a bad habit but oh she got a sniper rifle look at that <laughs> yeah when i open these characters up i'm usually just as surprised as you are look at this stuff i'm like wow look at all this where'd this come from <laughs> Oh, geez louise. Well, her ninja skills aren't helping her here. She's already been found out by somebody. What do we got? Well, I'll tell you what. Nope, nothing on vats. Oh, is that that weirdo and his, um, and his two incredibly powerful dogs? I bet it is. Yeah, it's a guy like he wears a, like pastor vestments and then he just kind of hangs out in here in this building. But he'll attack you and his dogs will attack you if you're anywhere near it. 
Which, if this guy wanted to just hide out, I don't know why in the world he's being so aggressive. Especially if you're not going anywhere near his pad. Or you're not giving him any reason to... Oh, shoot. Let's try the bushes. Hiding in the bushes. Ah, oh, dude, that's not very ninja. Speaking of, speaking of random happenings. Yeah, let's switch this to... Uh, friend or foe, who knows, but could have been a potential threat. Sound like there were some mutants over there. All right, so which direction we want to take? We'll take it straight. She could skirt around, but that's not the most direct route. What's this? Hester's computer. No, she doesn't need to go in there. Isn't there that ghoul that hangs around here? Yeah, there he is. He's like the Kim dealer that's out like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, she just needs to go north. Of course, this is right through Mass Bay Medical. Didn't she already go through here, I think? Yeah, what do I know? <laughs> I just work here. <laughs> what do I know? Well, if any of these guys see her, they will certainly let her know about it. But like a good ninja, she has to hug the shadows. Yeah, I think she's already gone through one of those. I'm going to throw caution to the wind and just... Go. Go with the flow. We'll do that. Combat zone. We're already right there. Damn, baby. Oh, movement. Ninja. Oh, textbook. A little further. You were saying? <laughs> what do they got over here for her to pick through? Cooking oil. She was looking for that last week. Ooh. Well, that's east. Let's... What a mess. That Brahmin. What's Brahmin doing over here? She needs to go that way, so we're gonna go ahead and have her cut across. Or some people say cut across. <laughs> we'll cut across the way here. Look at them bones. Oops, there's somebody there. Friend or foe? I have no idea. Just didn't want to be detected. Uh oh. Look at those glow sights. That could have been better. 
Like, oh, I know you're here. I can smell your perfume. <laughs> oh, look at this, man. They had a buffet over here. It's plenty of good cooking. Some home cooking. Let's get out of here. Oh, might have some deadheads to deal with. Bodies on the slab. the way she likes it. Oh, she can get around those fools. Ah! She probably died guarding that can of poking beans. Wait, there's a going on here oh la la oh this is rare country isn't it and I do believe she's already been through here because this looks awfully quiet awfully quiet Cooler has been sacked. It's all been sacked. That's all right. It's a good scene for the Kunoichi. Let's go ahead and do some cooking. Take a moment to get some experience points. It's a beautiful thing. And here we go. Alright, that's all. That's good. It's good enough. Mm-hmm. 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 It is nice and quiet here. You know what? This will be a perfect opportunity for her to bed down for the evening. And, yep, survival tent. That is a beautiful mod. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. And as it is with all these characters, business day starts at 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. Bright and early. Bright and early. I keep forgetting she has those caltrops. Oh, jeez. Who's shooting at her? I heard those bullets. I heard up a wing, bing, bing, bing. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Who's making a mockery of justice? <gasps> of course, these mutants. You're brute. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
keep sniffing. Makes me wonder who these guys were fighting when you heard all the ping, 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 pew, pew. Ooh, look at this cat. Oh, that's who they were fighting. Who was that? Oh, robots. They were doing the robot. Oh, suicider. Yep, that'll do it. Oh, I thought it'd be a rusto. Ah, beautiful day. Look at that. She's staring out from the distance with her red eyes. Let's perk her up. Alright, what's on? Ah, what's on my chart here? What's going down? Oh, sweet! Looky here. Looky there. Make her gun play that much more dangerous because she's that kind of gal okay that means we need to Let's see late pinapapino that's all the way over there and we can go ahead and just cut up that away nice At least it's not Kessler standing at the door. You there! Raider Caravan! Let's see. None of the above. Goku no Wichi. Goku no Wichi. Goku no Wichi go. What we got? A spatula. Well, as long as they don't see her, everything's cool. She can vanish. Let them kill each other. She's going north, baby. Is this the right north? What's that? It's a dog. Oh, wait a minute. There's that other bridge up here, isn't there? Stingwing barb. Yeah, there we go. There we go, man. Whoa, uh oh. Looking for some breakfast, were ya? of her vengeful blade. You can chew on that, you scumbags. Didn't she already blow this place? Oh, speaking of breakfast, yeah, I guess she needs something, huh? Yeah, let's see what we got here. Gulper slurry. Oh, invisible for 10 seconds. Well, as nice as that sounds, you can breathe underwater. All these crazy claims. All this insanity.
Insanity. Well, this is the wasteland. Or insanity goes to roost. She's walking the lonely street of dreams. And here she goes again on her own. Going down the only road she's ever known. Like a drifter, she was born to walk alone. <laughs> uh, classic rock. Love it. Oh, wait. We've already done Covenant, haven't we? Uh, okay. Let's go Covenant way. Grab some hot flower. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There's some over here too. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. She's defying the suggestions of the caravan guards, saying, stick to the roads. Nope. She shall be adventurous. Going by old coat. Did she ever go in there? Oh, no, she didn't, because homie's still outside. No, she did not go in the covenant. They certainly want the citizenry to be the, of the non synth persuasion. I can imagine what Desdemona and company say behind their backs. Deacon would probably say he likes him, but then again, he's a compulsive liar. You know, what every resistance team needs is a compulsive liar. <laughs> They're so reliable. Okay, we just need to go north. And, okay, there's outpost Zimba Zojima. Let's go past all that. Jesus, tire factory around here. Look at that. It's like a Michelin factory exploded. Oh, and she's going by the big plane wreck. Yeah. That's one NPC I haven't seen in forever was Ness. You remember her? She like wants you to help wants you to help her break into the um the lockbox that's inside this wreckage. Oh, we're going straight through. Alright. Let's do it. Wait, is it smart if we do it? <sighs> no, because it kind of takes us off track. Never mind. Never mind, man. She's got to get over here. She's got to, got to, got to. There we go. Got to, got to, got to. Go the right direction. That's what we need. Well, I don't hear those wonderful early morning sounds of people massacring each other. Oh, this is Lake Quinnicapino, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and get past these insane robots. A Fallout 4 staple. Oh, cool. Robots at their insane best. She needs to kill a razor claw, I believe. That's okay. Oh, we're getting close to him. 
Let's switch to our silence pistol. Whoa, 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 sweetie. Maybe in a bikini, but you're not going swimming. There are things in that water. My goodness, look at all those barrels. Yeah, this clear water, this is another mod that I have to make the water as crystal clear as possible. Oh, look where he's at. See if we can get up here and do it ninja style. Kill from the shadows. Yep, she can. Done. Sweet. From the shadows she shall strike. Nice. Let's see what other little treasures we can pick up before we hit the road. Alright. A flask. A beaker. Alright. Let's see here. The incident. The accident. Mm. Wipe the terminal. <laughs> we're not guilty at all but uh wipe the terminal i'm not saying we're guilty but um you know that terminal let's wipe it hmm sounds like something a politician would do huh hmm you know for being so honest and upfront, you still want to wipe some things out Hmm. Awfully fishy. All right, now with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look, see what we got going on on the agenda. I know, I know. Uh-uh. 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 No, no. No. Jamaica Plain, Caps, Director at the, okay, there you go. See Abbott about the wall. All right. Does that mean she can now go back? Let's go see what's going on at the railroad HQ with these cats. Maybe she can pick up another quest. I don't remember how far along she has been. Is a drumstick coming down? Oh no, I guess not. Heads up. Tom's got more goodies in stock. Check with him. Oh, maybe she is out of uh, quests. What about Amila? Huh, that's weird. I guess she is out of, uh... Huh. Alright, well. You know what that means. That means she is going back to the bounty box. Always. You got Tom's camera on now? The runners are going to find that very useful. Damn, too. Would it kill them to let you know mission status and take to the camera? Just once. Let's see what the uh, PAM computer has to say. All processes are busy. All right, well, that tells her everything right there. Audio Ninja, do you need help? <laughs> that dude that dude okay let's go to the bounty box and let's see what other assassin level 28 and she's already dry of radiant quest with the railroad oh man don't tell me that she has to start following the main quest then I've already got several characters doing that right now just so they can progress alright let's do it let's see what we got 
Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. Miscellaneous. There we go. Two bounty notes. Parkview Lounge. Okay. That's what she'll do. Well, she's going to have to go ahead and rest before she starts her journey. But that will be an adventure for next time around. So thank you for hanging out and watching the show. And we'll pick her up again and continue her Kunoichi adventures at a later time. So stay cool. Later. Yeah, two bounty notes, huh? That's a bit odd.